Hi everyone. Hope everyone is staying safe and well. And welcome back to another video. Right in this video, I'll show you some simple steps to take note when you are configuring the Meragi V, uh, Meragi MX, and the Umbrella Six for the manual tunneling. Right, following the last video I did last week. I'm going to show you some of simple things, right, to take note when you're configuring this manual tunnel, right? Now, if you have cloud on RAM, then this part is, should be uh, a lot simpler for you. Now, if you remember from my last video, right, uh, we added a new non Meraki VPN peer to the Umbrella SIG uh, in the cloud. So I'm going to recreate this tunnel, right, and then highlight what are some of the areas to take note because the VPN tunnel that Meraki has in place is for private access previously, right? So some of the wordings here might be a little bit misleading, right? So first, of course, you know, if you remember, we need to give it a name. Okay, IKE V2, right? Um, we can keep the policy as default umbrella, right? Public IP address, if you remember, uh, you know, you need to come to this page to get the IP address, right? And uh, we need to copy the tunnel ID. So refer to my previous video if you do not recall. Uh, how to do it, right? So I'm going to paste it here. And then we can leave the remote ID blank for now. You can always, uh, you know, put in the optional few, right? Okay. Now to the important part. Okay, this is the part where it can be a little bit misleading, right? Over here, it says private subnet. So actually, when you are connecting the uh, tunnel, you need to take note that this is this is the IP destination that you want right to the internet. So this should be to any any right, which is denoted by. 0 .0 .0 .0 slash zero, right? So, so I've gotten feedback, right? Um, when some of the, uh, you know, uh, SEs are doing this, they actually try and configure this as a, uh, you know, private subnet, right? So this is not a private subnet, right? Remember that very, very importantly, uh, if you try to put it as the subnet that you wanted to, or the source IP of the subnet that you want to route to the internet, you will have problem, right? So take note, this is not private subnet. It is the public IP address that you want to get access to. Okay, now let's go and key in the preset key, right? Now, this part is where you specify the private subnet that you want to participate in this tunnel, right? This is the private network, right? This is where you key in the private network. So there are some limitation when you're doing manual tunneling, right? Uh, especially on the basic setup. So do take note, right? By default, it's set to all traffic, right, from this particular MX that we are configuring to, right, or you can always go and select the tag, right? So when you look at what I've selected, the SG branch, right, all the SG branch traffic that I have enabled for VPN access will be routed through this SIG tunnel. Now, this is the part whereby, you know, if you have a very complex environment or complex requirement, uh, it gets a little bit more tricky. So consult your Meraki expert for that, right? So what you see over here, 
right, is that I have only allowed my lab, my lab, right, I've only allowed my lab IP, right, to be enabled for the SIG tunnel, right? So the rest, so all this that you see here, that's are disabled, right? This subnets will not participate in the SIG tunnel, right? So take note that this will not participate in the SIG tunneling, okay? If you are doing auto VPN for Meraki, that's where the cloud on RAM becomes a little bit better. Uh, it does some of the smart and auto uh, routing, right? So if you are doing manual, uh, there are challenges, right? Because if I disable this subnet in VPN mode, it means that I will not be able to, you know, do auto VPN with the rest of the non sick site to site VPN. Right, so do take note of this, right? So ideally the SIG tunnel, right, uh, especially for secure edge should be for your branch office whereby you are going to include uh, the routes from the um, branch to go to the SIG, right? So those traffic uh, that are going to the internet from the branch should automatically get routed to your umbrella SIG tunnel. Right, so these are the couple of the key areas that I wanted to highlight, right, for this uh, video itself. Uh, now, I might do another video on troubleshooting, right, how, how do we troubleshoot uh, if the tunnel don't come out, right? It is actually very straightforward. Now, a tip that, you know, um, works for me is that if the tunnel doesn't work and you have followed the configuration, uh, just delete the tunnel and recreate the tunnel, right? Uh, there are uh, um, logs on, on Meraki to tell you whether uh, the tunnel has been successfully established, right? So this is what I wanted to share uh, with you today. Okay, so let's complete this tutorial uh, by saving this configuration. This is another part that is important, right? Because, uh, you know, a lot of people might accidentally leave this page, right? So always remember to save it confirm the changes right and then it takes a while for the VPN uh, tunnel to come out it's, it's actually pretty fast right so let's come over here and check on the non Meraki peer again right uh, let's refresh this and make sure that you know um... okay as you can see the tunnel is up right Now, if you hop over to your uh, umbrella tunnel, likewise, right, do a quick refresh. And you should see that now it is active. All right, so that's all, folks, for today's video. Hope this helps those who are you know, facing some challenges when you're configuring the SIG tunnel following my previous video. Okay, thank you and stay safe.